Okay, this is the tail section. Uh, it's a complex piece. A lot of people don't understand how you get this shape. And this is for the back of a cobra um, where it comes around and meets the tail light. And I'll show you where we're at so far. I'm looking, I'm looking at the fit of my panel around here, which is good but you can see at this point how far away we are here. Uh, what this will require now is stretching this up and that will allow the panel to come in. You've got gap here and gap here, so this is what's touching right here. If that rotates up because the car rotates out like this to meet the deck lid, it sweeps out and does it all the way down to here. The only thing that we can do, because you can see this panel goes in. That, that panel actually has to go like this. So I gotta raise that panel probably a good inch on the side. So let me go ahead and do that. Before you do that, let's go over one more time okay. your methodology here, because I think a lot of people, a lot of metal shapers would say, oh, well, this is sticking out very far. Don't you wanna shrink this whole thing down? Because you've got that big gap right there and but your solution is well you have to stretch this this uh, if if there were any shrink and I don't know that there will be um, there might be just a little bit right here just to pull it straight but other than that you want to stretch this out and then that'll bring this valley in a lot more as well so this whole section gets rotated up like this and as you I don't know if you can see it with the camera, but this goes up, sweeps in and goes out. You know, that's, that's why it's nice to do a fit on a buck that is uh, uh, cross sections instead of a solid buck. So you can see underneath it. start to see what's going on it's coming out so why don't we just uh, go back here to the buck and look at it well you can see how much closer this has gotten and our fit down here but we still have to bring it out and we also have to bring the back down here which is angled that has to come out flat. So this has to be raised as well. So by raising these sides, this and this, that will make the center go in. So this is the bottom side. I was saying it's got a little hump in it here. Uh, that actually needs to come off flat. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna raise this area and bring this up a little bit. And then I'm gonna also bring this out right here a little bit more and we'll see if we've got what we need. I might actually have to bring some of this up too. You can see how it's pushing the metal. Look at that shot. You see how it's pushed the metal? and I haven't banged into this. I just brought it up and it's pressing it out and lifting it at the same time. So I want to get this up and keep going. Bill, maybe you could come behind me, look over my shoulder so they can see what this does. Um, you see how this goes down I'm going to lift that area. You can just look right through here and you can see it. Now, you 
See how it raised it, brought it out. Could you comment on the dies you're using? This is a linear stretch die uh, that's in the bottom of here and a flat upper top die. And a linear die is designed to stretch the metal, pushing the molecules apart from each other. So you're not, you're not ripping it like with a Lancaster, it's yanking at it to pull it apart. So let me continue with this. Just as a rough, we're just going to take it over and see how it's going to fit. Uh, you can see it's real pliable now. So bringing it in and around might just be a matter of putting some form in it. Here more. So continue to work this in, but uh, you can see how it's starting to take the shape that it needs to. Uh, this back here has to come up a little bit more. That's that's holding us away. control of your metal. It's uh, by applying the correct amount of hit, um, pressure, uh, orientation of the panel in, in the tools, it gives you everything that you need uh, in order to uh, make your panel fit. But you have to be able to visualize your panel in your mind while you're making it. Uh, up here uh, on this machine also we have an RPM meter. Uh, so if you have a certain sweet spot that uh, works better, uh, you, can, uh, you can dial the machine in to run right at that point. Let me uh, continue on with this a little bit and then uh, we'll see how it fits. all the difference in the world uh, when placed properly. Now let's just see how we're doing. I guess we have it. We've got a nice fit along here and you can see how the bottom comes in. Flush down here. Uh, we could probably still bring this a little bit of a little bit of a hollow there but for the most part it's that's it. That's how you do the rear cap on a cobra. <laughs> <laughs> 